Good morning, you beautiful, beautiful people. How are you doing? It's Sunday morning. I'm going to the gym. I have long hair. It's brown. Let's get amongst it. Well, what a week. Very, very busy. This is my last, no, one of my last weekend video blogs until I go away, off to America, and um, which is nice. And I've been asked about what's happening next year, what surgery is lined up. So much surgery is lined up. So I've got three main things which I shall chat about in this video. But first off, if you're new to my channel, if you're just finding this for the first time, hi, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell so that you'll be kept up to date of all the things that's coming down there. Right there, it's happening. And then you'll be notified whenever I post anything new. That would be awesome. So, where was I? Yes, subscribing. Subscribing is cool. So, surgery. I'm at a really weird place here in my life because, and I'm still coming to terms, I did that big announcement that I'm now the lightest I've been since being an adult. I'm now several pounds under that, which is cool. But I'm struggling with, I need to set new goals. I need to reprioritize. I didn't think I would ever reach the target that I have now reached. So now I've got to think, well, what now? I'm, I'm like, I'm a little bit lost. But what I am doing is penciling in surgery. So that gives me things to focus on, things to target. So there's three main areas of surgery that I have lined up my gender reassignment surgery, the plumbing. So that's happening soon, I think in the spring. Uh, I've got dates penciled in already, provisional, and deposits, uh, a deposit has been paid, so I'm waiting for confirmation on those dates, which is quite cool. Then there is my body. I have a lot of loose skin on my body, and this is becoming a, a separate issue, which I need to bring up in another video. I've now got, whereas I, all I was focused on was getting the weight off, now the weight has come off, I've now got floppy droopy skin, I've got like, the, like I've got scrotums hanging off my arms and legs, which is not pretty. And it's actually now harder for me to wear a bathing costume because the loose skin is like, like coming down in layers under my legs, it's so gross. I'm not showing you a picture of that, but you can, you can visualise that. So I have to have the excess skin removed and I have to have everything nipped and tucked. So it's probably, essentially, I'm going to need a full body lift, but I'm currently deciding whether I need to do that in one whole super operation. Uh, there are some surgeons who do that, or whether I want to go for a more localized approach over two or three sessions where I have my lower body and abdomen done, upper body done, and then some revision work to tidy up everything at the same time. And there's a few things I need to consider here. I also want a butt lift or even butt implants my bum is awful, it's flat and it's just, there's no shape to my bum whatsoever. And even with all the training I'm doing, which is helping, it's still not a great bum by, by any stretch. So, and I don't really have any hips, it's a bit rubbish. So I'm going to have some cosmetic work done to enhance. I've managed to train, I've got, I mean, I've got great squats and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm strong, I just don't have much of a shape there. So I'm having that done. So I don't know how that's all going to fit in with the body lift and everything. So I need to get some more consultation done. And then finally, I think, finally, I'm still not sure on the exact order of these procedures, is my face. Now my face isn't too bad. I don't think I look particularly masculine. But I would like to have a new nose. I'd like to have my jaw. I think my jaw is quite square. Even with, you know, I mean, even though my, my chromosomes are a female, because of the, testo the testosterone in my system, it caused my jaw to develop. Not terribly manly, but I still think I'm on the male side of androgynous. So I want to have my, my jaw done, I want to have these cheek implants done permanently, I want my nose reshaped and made a little smaller, and my brows. And then I'd also like a facelift so I can fix my baggy eyes and what have you. Nothing overly major, although I, I will look like I've been in a boxing match with a heavyweight boxer for several rounds afterwards, which would be exciting. So that's what I'm having done surgically, which is all very exciting. And uh, I'm nearly at the gym, so I shall pick this up where I left off shortly. 
when I'm leaving off. Past tense in the future. Ooh. Gym done. I am loving being able to wear makeup to the gym. The Sport FX stuff is amazing. And all I've done is mix the Sport FX foundation with um, uh, some MAC foundation today. And look, makeup at the gym. Well, where were we? We were talking about things, I think. I think I need some glasses, yeah. Fixed. So, surgery. Um, yeah, I, I'm torn. The, the body, I, don't, I honestly don't know what I want most or next. I think my face would be the most obvious visual difference for everyone. But I also want that to be fairly subtle. Um, but at the same time, I don't mind having a, you know, a plastic look, a look that I've had some work done, because I think that's a better look than just looking old and flappy. Is flappy a look? You know what I mean? So I don't mind having, you know, looking like I do now. I've, I've had filler, I've had my lips done. You know, pretty much everything you can see is, is filler. So I don't mind that. I don't mind. I don't think, I don't like it when it gets too obvious. But I kind of want subtle, but I want to have an improvement. I don't, I also don't like surgery that you can't tell if anything's been done or not. And I've seen that happen a few times. That seems like a complete waste of time. Body-wise, I think that's where most of the work has to be done. The, the gender reassignment surgery, the plumbing, well, that's just easy. That's just putting stuff right. That's, that's such a common procedure now. And it's such an effective procedure. Physically, men and women are not that different. Um, in fact, all babies develop as with female bodies, you know, <laughs> initially. So there's not that much difference. So everything functioning with, you know, depth and lubrication as a kind of a grower. I don't, this is another video entirely, but all that sort of stuff, that's pretty straightforward. So, and again, it's all, it's all, it isn't even particularly risky. It's a simple procedure. It's the body procedure is the bigger of them because I need so much skin removed. Um, you know, between a stone or two of, of excess skin, which is great. That's going to be a hell of a diet, going in for surgery and coming out two stone lighter and physically smaller. Boom! But it hurts. It hurts. I think it's the most painful of all of them because moving hurts. With the face and with the, the, the plumbing surgery, I keep calling it the plumbing surgery, the bottom surgery, the GRS surgery, that hurts too, but that's it's quite localised, whereas body lifts you know, lower body, upper body, that whole area hurts. You are a world of pain. And if I'm having my hips and, and, and uh, glutes done, so I'm getting a booty lift at the same time, it's, it's hard to sleep and you need a lot of painkillers. I mean, all surgery sucks, but that's gonna be a particularly painful time. But I'm fine with that. I'm, even though at the time I will be swearing and calling everybody everything and vowing I will never have surgery again, Ah, uh, it'll pass. Just gotta suck it down for a while. And then the results. I mean, there was a, there was a moment when I had my, my gastric bypass where I swore I would never have surgery again. I hated everything, I regretted everything. And that was for the, about 24 hours straight after having surgery. But it passed. And that was a procedure that I wouldn't see the benefits for for at least 12 months. And that was the hard part. Is you have this surgery, and all you do is hurt, you haven't lost the weight yet. Whereas with a body lift and with a face work and with GRS, you see those results as soon as you come out of theater. You might look bruised and battered, but you can see something right away. And I think that will help a lot with the emotional part of the recovery because you can see improvements immediately. And I think with that regard, it's the, the body changes, which I think are more exciting than the face because your face is covered in bandages and you look like, you know, you look battered. So with all that in mind, my goals are now to make next year as smooth as possible for that work. I need to plan ahead. I need to make sure that I have my, my work and my business commitments are up to date and are easily managed while I'm away. I need to ensure that I can work in the hospital so that um, it doesn't affect my business. I'm not really one for having long recovery periods. When I'm, you know, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. I, I've always been like that. So I will be jumping back into the saddle 
ASAP. And I think that's important. I think the quicker you can get your life back on track and you can just bring things back to normal, I think the quicker you heal. Here's the, here's the hard part for me, and this is the part, I guess, the punchline from this. And I normally like to, to make videos where there's something to take away. And I don't know if I have a takeaway from this one. In fact, maybe I need your guys' help with this. What do you think? All my life, literally all my life, I've dreamed of having some of these procedures done. And I honestly thought I would never get there. And now I'm finally, you know, weeks and months away, within the next 12 months, it looks like I'm going to finally have the body I always should have had. I'm struggling to process it. I, I you know, I put a brave face on and I was always the optimist and I was like, yes, one day when I do this. But the back of my mind, I always had this nagging, nagging doubt that I would never get a body that matches my chemistry. And now that's actually happening. It's taken like 48 years to get there, but that's actually happening. I'm struggling to process it to the point where I'm almost getting anxiety about it. What happens? What happens next? I'm, um, I'm struggling processing everything that's happening and everything that has happened this year. Eight stone I've lost just this year, a year ago when I started this blog. And if you guys, anyway, if you guys were watching back then when I said, you know, it's going to be a, an interesting journey. I don't think I actually believed I was going to make it. I intended to. But I don't know if I actually believed I was ever going to get to the, this end result. I'm not there yet. But the thing that all of that stuff was waiting for, all the surgery, the weight loss, that's almost done. Whew. Not quite sure how to cope with that. I'm feeling emotional even talking about it, I'm going to be honest with you. So, you know, crazy. Okay, I've uh, witted on enough. Um, leave your comments below if you've been through similar experiences, having anxiety about achieving goals. <laughs> And for somebody that's quite goal oriented, I never thought this would be a thing, but there you go. Leave your comments below. Please like, subscribe. I love the fact that you guys are watching. You're, you guys are part of the reason this is all happening, keeping myself accountable to an audience, you know? It's, it's working. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, dislike. All the engagement is fine. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.